Hello everyone. In this tutorial, you will understand the types of overhead line insulators that can be used for overhead transmission lines. There are several types of insulators, but the most commonly used are pin type insulator, suspension type insulator, and also strain insulator. In this tutorial, uh, each uh, type of insulator will be explained. First, let's begin with the pin type insulator. Pin type insulator consists of non-conducting material such as porcelain, glass, or polymers. As the name suggests, the pin type is secured to the cross arm on the pole. Also, a steel pin is used to secure the pin insulator. Also, there is a groove on the upper end of the insulator for housing the conductor. Also, we have a cement to fix all steel parts with the insulator material like porcelain or glass. Pin type insulators are used for transmission and distribution of electric power at voltages up to 33 kV, beyond operating voltage of 33 kV. The pin type insulators become too bulky and hence uneconomical. So what is the solution if the voltage increases above 33 kV? The solution is of course suspension insulator. For higher voltages above 33 kV, it's usual practice to use suspension type insulator. It consists of porcelain disc units mounted one above each other to form an insulator string. So, the insulator string consists of many units, one above each other. Each unit is called unit or disc, as see. This is the form of one unit, so it's called disk unit, many units called string. Each unit consists of metallic cap and porcelain, which is the insulator material and also metallic pin. The conductor is suspended at the bottom ends of the string by means of metallic pin, so metallic pin is used to suspend the high voltage conductor, while the other end of the string is secured to the cross arm of the tower by means of metallic cap. So this is the function of the metallic pin and the metallic cap. Also, they are used to connect the units with each other, like that to form one insulator string or one suspension insulator. A string of any number of units can be built according to the line operating voltage. As line operating voltage increases, we can use many number of units to withstand this uh, voltage of the conductor. So this is suspension insulator. The third type of overhead line insulator is called strain insulator. So what is the function of strain insulator and when we can use this strain insulator? When there is a dead end of the line or there is a corner or sharp curve, uh, the line is subjected to greater tension. In order to relieve the line of excessive tension, strain insulator are used. So strain insulators are special mechanical strong suspension insulators. They are used to take the tension of the conductor at the line terminals, at angle towers, and also at road crossings. Also, they are placed in horizontal plane. And if the tension in conductor is very high, maybe two or three strings of insulators can be used in parallel to withstand the high tension or the high strains. So, there are the three types of overhead line insulators in this tutorial. We explained each type and when we can use each type of these insulators. Thank you and see you in the next lectures.